Well, what a beautiful theme this is, to think outside of the box. Now, when I hear that, some of the things that come into my mind are, to think outside of the box could mean something phenomenal, something that is praiseworthy, something that one never knew they could achieve, but they actually end up achieving. But now, does that something always have to be something big? So let's start off with why we need to achieve. But well, aren't we always achieving as humans in our daily lives? Aren't we always waking up every morning, going and doing something with our daily lives where we experience things, we meet new people? Aren't we always achieving something? We're gaining new experiences, we get to meet new people. I think that is always an achievement. But now, like I said earlier, does your, do your achievements have to be something big? What if we set specific goals to ourselves? What if we set specific goals to ourselves that we need to achieve eventually with time? Will that increase our human self-satisfaction? Well, absolutely. First of all, you'll be able to gain more self-confidence. Now, self-confidence is key. With self-confidence, you will realize how you approach people and how you meet people. With self-confidence, you will also realize how you are able to tackle on, on new issues that life brings to you. Now, self-confidence is a key. It is also an achievement to gain self-confidence. And once you've gained self-confidence, you can then use this key to go ahead and open many other doors, an unlimited amount of doors to yourself for other achievements within your life. Other than that, you can also achieve a healthy sense of self-worth. Now, self-worth is very important. In today's society and in today's world, everything has its own worth. But I think that an individual does not know his own worth unless, does not know the worth of anything unless and until he knows his own worth. With self-worth, you will only be able to know what you're capable of. And capabilities is just another track of adventure. Now think of this track of adventure with new experiences, with new issues that will come along with you, or that will come along your way. But now this track never has an ending. You will go through this track again and again and again, and you will continue to push through this track. This track, you will be able to gain more experiences and you will really come to see what you're truly capable of, of what you truly can achieve. And capability is also something that's high, is also something that us humans are never really aware of how much we can be capable of doing. Like they say, you're never aware of how much you can be capable of doing until and unless you go ahead and you do it. Another reason is, it is a reason for us to be happy and it is a reason for us to celebrate. Now as humans, we like to be happy Happiness is something that we really look forward to. And one of the reasons, one of the ways that we can find happiness is if we go ahead and have, have a celebration. Now, how many of you are sitting here and thinking, okay, celebration, celebration equals to parties. Now, I'm a youngster myself, and I know many of you guys here are youngsters too. And you guys probably have this equation that celebration must equal to you throwing a party or something like that. But let me tell you that it's not always about that. Celebration can be something very small. You don't, like I mentioned earlier, you don't really need to achieve something huge. You can achieve something very simple and celebrate it in a very simple manner. You can achieve just yourself waking up earlier than usual one day and then go ahead and to celebrate it. You can celebrate it within yourself. You can celebrate it by as something as simple as just giving yourself a pat on the back and saying, okay, you know what? I was trying to do this for days and days, weeks perhaps, or even months, and I finally got the chance to achieve it and I've achieved it. And then you can use that time that you've gained to do something that will make you more successful. That will bring yourself inner joy and you will be able to celebrate it within yourself. But now how will I achieve these small things? I will tell you how. Okay, I know many of you guys are thinking, what does an 18 year old know about success? You're still young, you're still, your, your life still lies ahead of you. What could you have possibly achieved at the age of 18? What would you know about success and achievements? I think I have the perfect answer to that. Yes, I'm only 18 and I'm yet to experience a lot of things in life. But now here's the thing. Do I really have to be a certain age to know that I've achieved something? I think that in order for me to achieve the most in my life, I have to start now. Many of you here are still 13 or 14 or 15 and 16, very young ages. And I think you can start now as well with me. If we start now, we'll be able to make small improvements with our lives and be able to achieve something huge eventually. I believe in my theory that you don't always necessarily have to be keeping yourself a time frame. You don't really have to tell yourself that, okay, by the age of 22, I want to have a million dollars. By the age of 24, 
I want to own a mansion, or by the age of 30, I want to own these many cars. Such things is just not are just not appropriate to me. I don't think that we need to set ourselves a time frame. I don't think that we need to overwhelm ourselves. Youngsters today, including myself, with the idea of achieving something and being successful one day, we tend to overwhelm ourselves and we tend to get ourselves stressed up and worked up with, oh, am I going to be able to achieve this? So in order for me to prevent that, in order for you to prevent that, I've come up with a scheme, which I will tell you about later on. So how do you gain self-improvement? Now, self-improvement is very important. And in order for us to gain this, firstly, we need to learn how to stay disciplined. And we need to learn how to continue our improvements and how to always push ourselves forward. And we need to make sure that we mandate achievements to ourselves, that we make sure that we need to achieve this thing. We never give up and we always push. For this, I've come up with a very simple method. It is called the staircase method. Think of it like this. You have a stairway and that you're building the stairway. And that this stairway doesn't really have a top level. It doesn't have a final floor. This stairway is something that you will build on as you go on with your life. This stairway is something that you will continue to build. And this stairway is made out of bricks. And the idea is very simple. Each and every day, you wake up and you take a brick and you add a brick to the stair staircase that you're building. And now this brick represents your achievements and, or the improvements that you have made out throughout that day. But there is two rules. Rule number one is that you can never go ahead and take this brick out. This brick stays. You've achieved something, you've had a self-improvement, this brick sticks now. You, have, you must stay firm on this brick. You cannot remove this brick. Rule number two is also very simple, and it's just that you need to add more, or you could maybe fix the placement of your brick. We all have improvements and achievements, but there's always room for improvement. So by fixing the placement of this brick, is what I mean is, you go ahead and you improve on, your, on, your, on the thing that you've achieved. You make more improvements on the improvements that you've previously made. Or you could just add more onto that brick, increasing your stake, increasing, increasing it, day by day, until perhaps the, the last day you take your final breath. So, I'm aware that many of us here are youngsters. And us youngsters can go through a lot, especially one of the things that we fall into are our negative thoughts. But now like that says over here, negative thoughts always carry positive outcomes with them. So how many of you guys, well, I'm sure many of you guys have actually gone in your life, gone to your bedrooms, laid down and stared at the ceiling above you and said to yourself, I'm never going to get better. I'm such a failure. I'm not capable of this. I'm a loser. I know I've done it. And I'm sure that many of you guys here have done it as well. And that's normal. That's completely normal. Or perhaps you have gone through something like this woman is going over here. Like this lady is going through a bunch of thoughts at once. I'm lazy, I'm stupid, I'm terrible. No one cares about me, my life sucks. All of these things, we get to face them a lot. We fall into our negative thoughts. But what really matters is how we deal with those negative thoughts. In regards to this, I'm, I'm gonna use my, myself as an example. I was very lucky this year, well, previous year, that I got the chance to be a head boy at my school. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this job. I love the responsibilities that come along with it. I love the fact that I can tackle on issues within our school with my peers. I love how I get to maintain a great relationship with my teachers. But at the end of the day, I'm also just another student. I'm also a student who sits the exams and who has to go through the result day. In October, I think it was, one day I got my results and I went home. And I remember sitting down in my bed and I opened the leaflet and I opened my results and I looked at them and I said, Whoa, I failed. I failed the subject. And there it was. I was going through all those negative thoughts at once. Oh, what kind of a head boy who failed the subject? What kind of a head boy am I? Am I the right guy for this job? What are my teachers going to think about me? And there it was. Just like many of us here, I had fallen into my negative thoughts. And this is just an example of a moment where I fell into my negative thoughts. And that's normal. But now what really matters is, again, is how I dealt with it. Now, I kept myself two options. Option number one was to go ahead and say to myself, okay, I'm going to let these negative thoughts draw on me. I'm going let to let them take them down, let me be taken down by them. That was option number one. And then I kept myself an option number two. Option number two was, well, you see, I said to myself, I've achieved great grades in the past, amazing grades. Why can't I do it now? 
I think I'm capable of, clap of clapping back. So I did. And this is where I used the staircase method. I went ahead and I, every single day I woke up and I kept a brick to myself. And this brick was something that I achieved. It ne never really was something huge. It was very small changes that I made to my life. Simple as doing my homework more on time, taking my tasks more seriously, waking up earlier than usual. Small, small changes that I made to myself. And I kept that brick. Each and every single day, I added more to this brick. And within this, I was able to achieve a lot. And I was able to achieve that I could see that I, my self-worth was increasing. I could see that my self-confidence was increasing. And also, I could see that my grades were improving as well. So, what are the signs of your achievements? I think in order for a human, or in order for an individual to know that, okay, I've achieved something, we need to learn how to deal better with the changes in life. Life throws a lot of things at us, but what really matters is, again, how we deal with them. And if you can deal with them in a nice manner, in an approachable manner, I think that's when you realize that, okay, I can deal with negative changes in life. I think that's an achievement. That shows you're, you're, becoming, you're becoming more successful within your life. It is also with how to deal with the joy you receive. Sure, life throws a lot of negative things at you. Life throws a lot of issues towards you. But it will also throw happy moments towards you. And it is then when you realize that you're receiving joy. But now how am I going to deal with this joy? How am I going to make sure that this joy stays? Or that I make the most out of this joy that I, that I have? Another thing is when you learn. And when you learn to learn, and then you go ahead and you implement what you've learned. You teach. You teach other people what you've learned. And lastly, it is just the feeling of being relieved. You know, you've got yourself done with a big task. Okay, I can take a sit back. I can relax now. I'm relieved. But when we do these small things, I don't think there is a specific measurement to what your improvements are. Sure, sometimes your improvements are huge. Sometimes your improvements are small. But there is no specific measurement into how your improvements will bring, what kind of outcomes your improvements will bring to you. My name is Hamdan Khan, everybody. This was my talk on improvements and achievements. Thank you.